Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. So check this out guys. We are going to be doing a quick product introduction to you on our channel and this is a brand new partnership with us and this is with Sprayers Plus. Now, a lot of you guys know my friend Mike Bedell here. He is a, what would you say, a certified horticulturalist? Well, I have a degree in ornamental horticulture but I'm also a state certified pesticide applicator as is my company. Awesome. So, uh, and the reason I wanted Mike to add all that right from the beginning is because you need to be licensed to do work like this. Yes. Uh, as a contractor, I am not licensed but Mike does all this work for me. Yep. And so what we wanted to do is talk to you guys about a new product that we uh, have been working with, with Sprayers Plus, over the last few months. Mike's been able to demo this product and yep. use it uh, for just the last few weeks up here in Michigan. And so what we wanted to do is, I wanted to have a uh, sprayer video for you guys on our channel. A lot of you guys know, um, last year I put out a little feeler out there on Instagram talking to you about uh, the best spray cans out there. Yeah. And w both of us were watching the comments and a lot of you guys weighed in. Uh, there was a lot of brand names, a lot of companies in the market, but overwhelmingly a lot of you were sending me messages about Sprayers Plus. So we were curious to put one to the test and uh, Sprayers Plus was generous enough to send one out to us for review. Now in all disclosure, we are not getting paid for this uh, in any way, shape or form, but I wanted to just spend a few minutes because Mike has been using this product, he's been getting familiar with it, and we wanted to give you guys an alternative out there in the sprayer market, the sprayer game, if you are looking to add this service to your uh, product product and business offerings. Now, in all uh, fairness, there is a lot of companies out there that make sprayers. Yes. There is a, a, every brand name company, everybody makes them. It's a great accessories and aftermarket product. But the one thing I like about Sprayers Plus is the fact that this is all they do. They specialize in sprayers, whether it's a hand can or a backpack sprayer. They make everything in house from the batteries to the cans and the whole product, which is really, really cool. So in my opinion, you're getting high quality, you're getting a great value, and it company that stands behind what they make. Now, all that being said, Mike's gonna go through a little bit more of the technical stuff uh, with how it works, the um, pros and cons of the unit, a couple things like that. Now again, we've only have a few weeks under our belt with the unit, Yeah. but nonetheless, Mike's already uh, found a lot of things he likes about the unit, some things he doesn't like, that's for sure. Uh, but all things being said, let's roll with it. Let's just have yeah, some fun. Absolutely. Talk to him a little bit about what we've been doing and what you've been spraying, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the big thing I've been spraying with it is um, uh, it's mite season and mosquito season here, um, but, uh, uh, we, have, we have a product that takes care of spider mites and some other insect issues uh, that are pretty common in boxwoods and some other annual flowers. Okay. And uh, the key to that is having a very even spray coverage. Uh, and this does an excellent job compared to some of the uh, pump sprayers that we've used in the past. Okay. Uh, you, you put it best. This company clearly makes a sprayer uh, all they make is sprayers. Yep. They, they just make sprayers. Uh, we were talking before this video, it's almost like some of the other companies, uh, they just put their logo on the sprayer and there's really not a lot of differentiation between the models. And so in turn, it's not their standalone product. It's not supposed to be the most high quality product. It's just their means of also putting their name on it and selling it. It's very clear that this is, as Brian would say, plus one. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely a level above. It's a tank. When you open it up, it, you just can feel that it's thick and it's sturdy. Um, so it's held up to a couple of weeks of bumping around in our trailer. Right. If you've driven on Michigan roads, uh, that's no easy feat. Ab so Absolutely. Now, I will add this really quick. I did have a stint working at a, a national fertilizer company. We always talk about yeah, that. Yeah, did. Um, I learned the basics. Yeah. Right? And uh, I know the buzz words, the buzz language, uh, but I also know the equipment that's out there yes. because we use a lot of other brands, not going to name any of them. And you hit a great point uh, just a minute ago. We're talking about the longevity of the unit, yes. uh, the breakdown factor of a lot of spray cans. Yes. A lot of them honestly are kind of throwaways out there. Totally. And so uh, when you're making an investment like this, you want to make sure it's a quality product. These spray cans right here, they start at about $100, $129 and the backpack ones are about 200 bucks. So it is a couple bucks for an investment, but overwhelming a lot of you guys that are fans of Sprayer Plus uh, have said that they last a long time and they've held up really, really well. Now, one thing that we wanted to talk about, and we we're talking about this uh, off camera, was the spray pattern. Yes. The, the consistency. Because I, I asked Mike, as a licensed pesticide applicator, what's one of the most important things when it comes to using a product like this? And you talked about the consistency of 
product being delivered. Yeah, you want to have a uniform spray pattern, whether it's putting herbicide down in a lawn or treating uh, cracks with Roundup, but more importantly, uh, if you're doing a foliar spray, dealing with a box uh, boxwood issue like spider mites or something, it's key to have even coverage, otherwise you're not going to have even control of the pest that you're going after. With a hand can, you're constantly having to stop and pump it, but really your spray level is based on your pressure level and it's going up and down and up and down, peaking when you've stopped to pump it right. and, and then waning as you spray. Uh, the next level beyond that is you get into the backpack ones that have the pump and you're able to pump yep. as you go so that evens it out more, but it, it's still a smaller version of that. This, right. it, it's flat line, it's very consistent and the second you turn it on, it pressurizes within a second or two yep. and you have a nice even spray pattern until you've completely emptied the tank. Which, uh, that's a great question or great point as well that you just made. Let me ask you this, uh, how, you've been using this for about two or three weeks now. Yeah. How many tanks or cans or whatever you want to call have you went through, like with the battery? <sighs> we've got, we're on probably six tanks, they're two gallons, so we've probably gone through 12 gallons of product and... Still running uh, good? Yeah, still running good. I. I charged it up, put it in there, and I, I set my expectations low. I figured, all right, let's see if it makes it through the first day. It made it through the first day. Sure. Let's see if it makes it through another day. It's made it through a couple days. Uh, day two, it's gone through now a few days, and, and we haven't even plugged it in yet, and we're gonna see if it's the battery's still going. My goal is to run the battery out so I get a good barometer of how long can it go, but the fact that it's already beyond a couple days, right. that, that's bulletproof for me because I, I was like, this is a cool concept, but am I going to spray for a half hour and then be done? Right. And uh, then, you know, at least then you can keep pumping if you've got the pump one. This sure. doesn't appear to be an issue. Uh, you have to uh, be fairly negligent with your charging to right. run into an issue. So let me, uh, another great point, um, and we're just kind of hanging out actually, just talking about yeah. this. We have no script on this Hanging one. out, talking sprayers. Yeah, that's, that's what we do. We're, we're nerds like this. But um, let me ask you this. Is this exclusively for a contractor? Like a lot of folks that watch this are going to be probably homeowners sure maybe they have some larger property and uh, landscaping to maintain absolutely what about uh, is it only for contractors or is this good for residential folks as well in your opinion both this smaller model is going to be great for doing small sites uh, whether you are a homeowner or a contractor uh, it's perfect you're not gonna have to mix up a lot of material you're not gonna have to buy a lot of material and, and in turn you're not going to be sitting on a lot of waste material right uh, so whether you're a contractor or a homeowner th this is a good investment obviously the bigger backpack one I think is four gallons yep. uh, that maybe is a little bit more of the contractor grade you'd really have to have quite an estate or be a very enthusiastic gardener sure. on the homeowner level to justify wanting that type of uh, gallon for the rest of us commoners uh, this two gallon I mean it's done well for a small contractor like myself yep. uh, just to do some supplemental spraying on sites that need it well and, and you can use it for uh, you're talking about grass cracks uh, cracks in the dr uh, driveway yeah yeah for yeah or gravel crack. areas. Gravel areas. Um, there's so many applications with just things you have to touch up, things you can do with different beds, different products. Absolutely. And I think me personally, I remember back from uh, my fertilizer days was the, the biggest selling point for me was that consistent spray pattern. Yes. The the second selling point for me, um, again, because we're consumers, we, we, we're business owners, we have to buy this stuff too, was the fact that um, this company, Sprayers Plus, this is all they do. All they do. Uh, and again, I know you. it might sound kind of cliche or just a selling point or a talking point, but realistically, this is the kind of company that I want to do business with. I, I'm not opposed to other companies that add this to their uh, product line and their repertoire. Oh, but, as they should. Yeah, yeah, when you're a big company, you want to get involved in as many avenues as you can, and that's sure. fine, but uh, at times you want a specialty product mm -hmm. that, that really has attention to detail. Uh, um, uh, any type of car will get you down the road, but there's a difference between the Honda Civic and a Lamborghini. Right. And this definitely takes more of the Lamborghini route to things. It's a great point. Great yes. point. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep you guys posted as we use the product more throughout the summer. Uh, this is just the initial test and the uh, initial round that we've been able to use it last few weeks. So far, so good. Yeah, it's great. It's uh, still running. Yeah.
yeah, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like we're we're just regular guys, just like most of you. But a lot of you wanted for me to weigh in on a sprayer, uh, a hand can, or a backpack sprayer. And we do want to make sure that we're always mentioning in videos like this that make sure you're following local rules, uh, laws. Make sure you're licensed. Yep. Make sure you're wearing the proper protective equipment when you're spraying yep. uh, whatever it is that you are spraying. Mm -hmm. Yep. Have the proper PPE. That's huge. We always want to talk safety first. Uh, so all that being said, if you guys are interested in the sprayers plus, uh, you know, backpack spray or the hand can, I'll leave a link in the description down below. We do run a promotion. Uh, we did partner up with sprayers plus where two parts, we do earn a small commission. If you guys do pick anything up, uh, if so, great guys, honestly, if not, it's no big deal. It's all extra credit. It just goes right back into making videos like this to help you guys out with your lawn and landscape business and helping you guys succeed. But number two, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you do earn free shipping with that promo code, which it's a great deal. It's a great deal. So everybody kind of wins in that scenario. Um, but all that being said, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you guys have used the sprayers plus uh, hand cans or the backpack sprayers, definitely leave us a comment down below. What's your guys' thoughts? If you've used them long term, uh, I'm sure a lot of people would like to know yeah. how they've held up long term. If you Absolutely. Had, it, had it for more than a season or two. How or the, two weeks. Or more than two weeks. <laughs> how's the pump working? All that kind of stuff. But initial tests, so far so good. It's done a great job. Uh, very consistent spray pattern. I'd say I, almost the consistency that you would expect uh, from a big gas powered unit where you're going to get consistent even pressure sure but you don't have to have a big massive truck powered unit right you can have just a couple gallons and and be on your way you're good to go well cool man well any other talking points you got I think that's I think pretty we good. we should put this thing to work, show you guys how it does. Absolutely, brother. All right, man. Well, if you guys enjoyed this one, shoot it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Big shout out and thank you guys for checking out this video and supporting the channel. And again, if you guys are in the market for a hand can or a backpack sprayer, definitely use the link down below. We super appreciate the support. Also, big shout out and thank you to Sprayers Plus for partnering with the channel and helping give back to the community and just show what they are bringing to the market. And honestly, uh, they've been a blast to work with uh, nonetheless. So, all right, guys, over and out. We'll catch up with you on the rebound. Don't forget to subscribe, like I said, if you're new, and we'll catch up with you guys here soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.